day off. Monday morning roast of Jeff Bezos. Round two, fight! Bezos is ready for launch. Amazon.com billionaire Jeff Bezos is headed to space tomorrow. Bezos is the second man to visit space in his own spaceship, following 77-year-old Richard Branson on July 11th. This honestly feels like self-destructive behavior. First, Bezos lost his wife to real-life Walter White. Then he lost a race to a geriatric. Now he's gonna strap into a rocket and risk it all just to see if he can still get a boner. Luckily there's a 30 day return policy, so if Bezos blows up on the launch pad, Amazon will just mail us out another bald billionaire. Minus the cost of shipping. We all see where this is going, don't we? Soon Amazon will be delivering your groceries via intercontinental ballistic missile. Dick Cheney's grandchildren will order drone strikes on the Middle East with free two day shipping. Did you know when male honeybees have sex, their penises get ripped off and they die? So if you're a bee, there's no such thing as safe sex. They just try to glue their penis to their body with some honey and hope for the best. I get it though. If human dudes' penises broke off during sex, we'd still do it too. You'd think with all that buzzing, there'd be a lot more lesbian bees. When bees teach their kids about sex, do they still call it the birds and the bees? Or do they just call it Pearl Harbor? When a man bee and a woman bee love each other very much, the man bee suicide bombs her and breaks his dick off in her. Why would God make bees that way? If there is a God, is he okay? Like he could have made female bees have little pillows that the male bees lie down on, and they read a story together, and when they wake up, there's a baby bee. Instead, he was like, no, you fucker, and then your fucking dick breaks off and you die. <laughs> Did you know nearly 10% of all dreams are about sex? Which seems surprisingly low, but people actually tend to dream much more often about negative events than positive ones. Which is why nearly 100% of my dreams are about sex. One study found that smells can play a role in good or bad dreams. And my pit bull sleeps under my bed, so I often have bad dreams about dog farts. Another study found 84% of people dreamed about things that happened in their lives, which is why every woman I have sex with in my dreams has a body like an Instagram model and a face like the palm of my hand. If we only dreamt about what we do most in real life, I'd have a lot more dreams about sitting on the toilet. One time I had a wet dream. A woman I was infatuated with came home and I got so excited I peed on her. No wait, that was my dog. I dreamt I was on the bottom floor of the Freedom Tower in an elevator that only had a down button. It smelled like dog farts. Is it Thirsty Thursday? Did you know that Greeks and Romans had gods of alcohol? The Greeks had Dionysus, and the Romans had Bacchus, and America has Burt Kreischer. I feel like I also have a god of alcohol, because the only time I pray is when I'm hungover. I bet the god of alcohol is a fun hang, but a shitty god. Like, he'll buy you a skateboard, but he probably won't make your crops grow. America's sort of like the church of alcohol. Church has nuns, we have golf cart beer girls. Those are kind of the same thing. Church has confession, we have getting drunk and putting your family on blast on social media. Like, church has crackers and wine, and America has crackers who wine. But at church, you sit, stand, and kneel a lot. In America, we mostly just sit. We only stand for the flag, and we only kneel on black people's necks. It's Science Friday. It's Science Friday. New research shows that the coronavirus cuts cilia, basically trimming the hair of the cell, which may help it invade the lungs. So coronavirus kills by giving bad haircuts? I guess all those people didn't go deaf from the vaccine. They just got their ears lowered. Coronavirus splits more hairs than Dr. Fauci. That is correct. Say, did you hear about the porn star who got coronavirus? She was doing asymptomatic spread shots. She thought she was scheduled for the Johnson & Johnson injection that morning. But that was just a double penetration scene. Unfortunately, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines were unavailable, but she did end up receiving multiple money shots. From the government! 